hi, I'm Crazy Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just out doing some stargazing and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How do we know the distance of stars? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need a set of street lights. Okay, tonight we're talking about stars. And that's a subject I happen to know a little bit about because, uh, I happen to be one. Please, please, no pictures. No one? Well, anyway, head outside to that string of street lights. Whoa! Okay, now you're going to take a look at the street lights that are down that way. Okay, when you look at the lights from this side of the road, they look like they're at an angle. Now the earth doesn't stay in one spot, so neither am I. You are going to carefully cross the street. Oh, come on. Okay, now that we're on this side, we're going to take a look at the street lights. No, no. Not the street lights above me. I'm talking about the street lights down that way. Well, you can see that the street lights that were further down look like they moved behind the one that was closest to you. So, why am I talking about street lights when the science file had to do with stars? Well, you don't need a telescope to take a closer look at this. Astronomers study star distances using what's called a parallax, which is similar to looking at street lights from different angles. The Earth moves around the Sun, and stars that are further from Earth appear at a different angle behind closer stars. The closest star to Earth is Alpha Centauri, which is 4.3 light years away, and is actually made up of three separate stars that appear as one point of light in the night sky. Stars are massive shining spheres made up of hot gas that use nuclear reactions and huge amounts of pressure to produce heat and light. Stars can range in size from a thousand times the size of our own sun to as small as just slightly bigger than our own Earth. After a star is formed, depending on their size, they can live anywhere from a few million years to over 10 billion years. After the star has burnt up all its fuel, smaller stars just fade away. Medium-sized stars grow into red giants and then shrink down into white dwarfs. Much larger stars expand and explode, which is called a supernova. Some stars are so massive they collapse in on themselves to form black holes. So now you know how to tell the distance of stars. You know, using street lights to show you the distance of stars is why science is so cool.